You're backing out? That's... that's not right. Listen, Adam didn't know what he was doing when he shot Stuart. Annie is a different story. She lied, she schemed to make sure the truth about the murder did not come out. Well, she says that she did it to protect Adam. <sighs> Please. And how many people suffered because of that? She has done so much damage. I really couldn't help her. And even if I did, I couldn't help okay, so. Annie should pay for what she did, and, and she will, but I'm just saying that she deserves her day in court. Which would be a complete joke. Because Adam's got something secret up his sleeve to make sure that she gets off. I'm not so sure about that. Um, what do you know? Annie and Scott had a thing. An affair? No, 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 no. They, they kissed a few times and Scott came clean about it, but he's still worried that Adam could turn on Annie in court. What? Adam's done worse? Yeah. No. That's not all. JR is making Adam choose between Annie and his family. But he's chosen Annie every single time. Yeah, but so. this time JR thinks that he might choose his family. We can use that. I'm not following. Stay on the case. When you put Adam on the stand, work him. Make him choose his family. And when he does, down goes Annie. Okay, I think I'm ready for a nap now. Well, how are you going to eat your cheesecake, huh? What cheesecake? the cheesecake I'm going to buy you if you make it around this floor one more I time. I can't. I'm tired. Oh, strawberry cheesecake, huh? Mocha cheesecake? Chocolate cheesecake okay, with it. caramel topping right. and whipped cream? All right. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Wow. What would your husband think? You're in the hospital. Still, you find the time to have makeout sessions with Scott. You're disgusting. I'm the one who's about to get sick. Excuse me. Would you please escort... Mrs. Chandler, back to her room. Yes, of course. Uh-uh. All right. You let me handle this, okay? Come on. So, she lost her balance. I caught her, and that is what you saw. You know, you might be able to feed that bull to Adam. Adam knows that there is nothing going on between me and Annie. He trusts her. Uh, he trusted her. Back when she had the power. Back when she'd get inside his head and make him do whatever she wanted. But that's over now. The old Adam's back. The real Adam Chandler is back. And no one has power over him. You can take back control. You've just got to be smart about it. And attacking Hayward on his so-called deathbed is not being smart. But I thought he was faking it, don't you see? And, and whenever I feel he's being a phony, I'd like to smash him. I want to exactly smash him. That's exactly what he wants. He wants you to lose it in front of Amanda. She sees it. She gets angry at you. You push her away. He slithers right back in. A, B, C. So what would you do? Beat him at his own game. Pretend you're sorry for him. Even offer to help him. Just tell him you're taking the high road. He, he's... He would never go for that. All you gotta do is convince him that you've changed. I'm telling you, once you reach out to him, the fangs are gonna come right back out. A man is gonna see it and come running right back into your arms. Can I have that shrub? Because I could really use a little oxygen right now. Just a few more minutes, then I'm going to work. Well, I, I thought you wanted to save your energy for what was most important, and that's spending time with your son. Yes, that's true, but I also have an obligation to my patients. I think you have an obligation to yourself. Spending your time doing what's most important, and that's spending time with Trevor. So, take a leave from the hospital. It wouldn't be a leave. It would be a farewell. The end of my career. Well, if I were in your shoes, my job would be the last thing on my mind. I would want to spend every second of every day with my son. I'll tell you what. I'll consider it on one condition. How did I know that was coming? I could do 24-7 Trevor time, but only if you're a part of it. So what do you say, Mom? Are you up for a family adventure? Have a seat, so I can ask you some questions. Look, 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 don't bother. All right, this guy is here about once a month. 
claiming that he got mugged or that someone stole his identity or his shoes. He dreams of all kinds of drama for food and attention. Give him a donut, show him the door. Yeah, but, but he said he witnessed a murder. Someone should at least ask him some questions. Be my guest. But you're still on the hook for that paperwork. All right, tell me what you saw. Glazed. What? I want a glazed donut and a coffee. Three sugars. Do you mind if I have a few moments alone with our guest? Of course. Hello again. How are you feeling? Don't be afraid. I, I just want to help you. You won't after all you find out who I am. I'm sure that's not true. We've met several times before at social functions. I apologize. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't recall. You'd remember my husband. He's dead now. I'm Madison North, widow of Henry North, the man who wanted to send her daughter to prison. <laughs> 